it hurts, but my dad always told me if it's not broke or bleeding, then you got to get back out there. So when I was on the floor, I was just really trying to wait till like it, the pain would ease a little bit, and then I got up. So it's no big deal. They, I do that all the time. I try to, I get hurt all the time. I play, I play pretty hard, but um, I'm good. I'm good to go. I'll be all right. Well, what happened? What got into you in the second half? I mean, that's. I mean, I, I wouldn't say something got in us. I would just say uh, we executed well, and we, we made a lot of shots. Um, I think guys really took their time. And, you know, the first half, the 1-3-1, one, one, we were just playing a little too fast. Second half, we adjusted, slowed down, and got open shots, and uh, we knocked them down. Admiral, at this point, with you guys playing well, is it hard to, I guess, block out the uh, – you know, what people are saying about you guys and, and the success you're having and, and with, with eight regular season games still to go. No, nah, we don't look at that because we were picked 13th to start the season. So we, we, we're always uh, in the locker room thinking about how can we get out of that 13th position. So the biggest thing for us is we just go out and compete like we're the 13th team in the conference, which we were picked to be. So the biggest thing for us is just competing and, you know, really playing our style of basketball. So is that, I guess it's safe to say that you guys may feel like you have a, a chip on your shoulder still at this point? No, we have we have a lot to prove, though. We, we were picked 13. We got to go out and really compete. 13th's in the bottom. Yeah, which, which is good. <laughs> but, you know, 13th is pretty far down there. But it's okay. You know, it, it, it really it's really something that, you know, one of our goals is just to go out and compete and worry about ourselves, and that's what we do. We don't worry about outside noise. Um, honestly, we don't even know. Like, I didn't even know we were even top two till today. <laughs> so the biggest thing for us is just going out and competing and executing and having fun, and that's what we, that's what we did tonight. How much fun are y'all having right now? It looks like, I mean, obviously it's more fun when you're winning, but it looks like y'all just kind of enjoy being around each other. The fun part is when guys like Jalen Johnson get to get out there and go two for two from the three-point line, and you know, He's a very talented player, and you know he doesn't get as many chances to be out there on the floor. So that's the fun part. And when we work hard enough for those guys to get opportunities to get out there, that's the fun part. And also when everybody's scoring and having fun, and even when everybody isn't scoring, when me and Grant are scoring, or let's say Tay has a big night or Bowden has a big night, it's fun because you know we know how much work we all put in throughout this uh, off season from the spring to now. And the biggest things for us is we gotta keep pushing. And I, I don't think that you know we're gonna let up. Uh, not to say that we're at any platform, but we are hungry. Just know that we are very hungry for, for what we've set out to do. With guys like Jalen not playing, is that kind of maybe the simple of how far this program has come, that guys like Jalen and these aren't, aren't playing a lot, even though they may have started a couple of years ago? Yeah, you can say that, but also you can just say that, you know, that's how much talent we really have. And um, a lot of people don't don't really see it because we don't have five stars and we don't have, you know, four stars and this and that. But we got guys that are willing to be coached. We got guys that want to play hard and do the right things and the little things and also come out and compete and play for a university and a, a, a fan base that, that wants winning and, you know, guys that want to win and want to win together. So uh, the biggest thing for us is that, you know, we're all hungry and we all have the same goal and it's a brotherhood and we know that to, we can't do this without each other. And the biggest thing is we're just trying to execute what Coach Barnes is putting out there for us. And when we go out and do that, we're a good team. When we don't, uh, we're a little sloppy out there. So the biggest thing for us is to continue to do that, be consistent. What kind of, y'all haven't won it rough very often historically. Just what kind of atmosphere you expect on Tuesday with them coming off a loss and y'all rolling the way you've been? Oh, well, you know, Kentucky has a great fan base. I mean, they travel, um, you know, they're very supportive of their of the basketball program. So you got to expect that they, they're going to be loud. They're going to be live for them. And, you know, they're struggling a little bit, which is, part of basketball and the biggest thing for us is we can't worry about them or the crowd or the scene. We got to worry about ourselves like we've been doing and go out and compete at a high level and stick together. You already 